So I'm just gonna run through a really cool trade idea I think I have today. It's something that maybe you shouldn't necessarily jump into right away, but something definitely to watch. So especially as the market is starting to turn down, or at least that's what I think could happen. Again, it's earnings seasons, who knows what happens. We got a lot of things uh, coming up, a lot of earning reports coming up. Anything could happen, but we're gearing up for that downturn and we're prepping for it so that once we're starting to see that market downturn, we have some trade setups already. And the first one I wanna talk about is uh, Coke here today. That's gonna be the one we're talking about um, on the channel. So this setup is very similar to how Nvidia is playing out and so, the reason why I say that is because if we draw these zones right here and we got this upper zone like NVIDIA, how it's just had a huge uh, upturn. I mean, all these all these days right here are just green. Um, and then we also, if I just move over and we have this lower zone right here. And so we're kind of range bound right here. And whenever we're range bound like that, what you wanna do is you wanna look for the low points and the high points of uh, the zone and you wanna trade off of them uh, while comparing it to the overall market, right? So as the market's going down, we're starting to see these trades these these tickers that are in the high points of their zone we're starting to see them start to correct a little bit so this is coke right now it's very similar like i said to nvidia which just had a huge time to run and if we pull up the rs or i'm sorry the uh, tsi which is similar to an rsi which by the way i do have an rsi video um, i'll link it at the end of this video here um, in the end screen so that you can take a look at it um, and see how uh, how you really should be playing some rsi there's some good tips in there um, and also if there's something you want to see me analyze leave a comment down below and i'll take a look at it and possibly do a video on it so the reason why this is similar to nvidia is it's uh it's really overbought like pretty high as far as the tsi we're starting to see an inflection down it's being a little stubborn so uh which is similar again to nvidia but you know there, we often see these consolidation points right here sometimes you just get a straight shot down on the tsi so this could range bound for a little bit and finally go down and that's what earnings might bring us you know we might just see some insurity we might see some of the big players some of the big institutions just sitting on the sidelines waiting for earnings to clear and then either you know going long or going into some shorts and just bringing the market back down so as far as a coke is concerned we're not completely in the clear on the tsi it could that could mean you know sit on the sidelines and wait a little bit however right here we do have one pretty solid Heikinashi red candle right here um and previously there was a doji candle now a lot of strategies is to play um, enter a short, for example, off of two red candles, uh, enter a long on two green Heikinashi candles. So we're still a little bit early right here. It's not a bad thing to nibble or to get into it and then scale in as you start to see more clarity, but just know that's a little bit higher risk. Um, so as far as the Heikinashi candles, we're very close to opening a short there or, or what our indications are telling us to, is to go short. And the TSI is starting to see the inflection. Now, just because of how high this TSI is and how overbought it is, um, it is a little safe to get in. You know, it's justifiable, I guess. But I wouldn't say this is necessarily a, an objectively um, sh clear short quite yet. And, you know, this could range bound and it could do something what the market did uh, previously. And I'll go to that in a second where it does something like this where it comes up once again and even maybe go to a higher high before it starts to go down and then maybe a little corrections natural ebb and flow on the way down and we could hit this moving average here this moving average is probably going up until where it meets and then go back down like that so you know if you're willing to hang on to it um you know it's something you could get into and then scale in right up over here um but you know going back down and then seeing that lower low is something that would be a really great short entry and it would be followed of course by 
the TSI and flecting down and then you just ride it all the way down until you start to see a blue cloud once again. So that's a short idea on Coke. The ticker symbol, symbol is KO. If you like this content, you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all of my latest comments. I really appreciate it. We're reaching very close to 300 subscribers. I appreciate all of the subscribers and we'll see you next time. Thank you.